Which of the following is not one of the seven domains covered in the SSCP exam? A. Access Controls B. Software Development Security C. Cryptography D. Security Operations and Administration. Answer. B. Software Development Security. What is the minimum number of years of cumulative work experience required for eligibility to take the SSCP exam? A. Six months B. One year C. Two years D. Three years. Answer. B. One year. Which domain of the SSCP Common Body of Knowledge, CBK, focuses on identifying and classifying assets and assessing vulnerabilities? A. Access Controls B. Security Operations and Administration C. Risk Identification, Monitoring and Analysis D. Incident Response and Recovery Answer C. Risk Identification, Monitoring and Analysis in the context of the SSCP certification, what does the acronym CPE stand for? A. Continuing Professional Experience B. Continuous Personal Education C. Certified Professional Enhancement D. Continuing Professional Education Answer D. Continuing Professional Education Which of the following is not a typical responsibility of an SSCP certified professional? A. Designing Network Security Architectures B. Managing Database Administration C. Developing Software Applications D. Implementing Cryptographic Solutions Answer C. Developing Software Applications Which domain of the SSCP CBK encompasses principles, means and methods of applying cryptography? A. Access Controls B. Cryptography C. Security Operations and Administration D. Systems and Application Security. Answer B. Cryptography. What is the primary purpose of the ISC2 Code of Ethics for SSCP Certified Professionals? A. To provide guidelines for ethical hacking. B. To establish standards for secure coding practices. C. To promote responsible behavior in the security profession. D. To regulate the use of encryption algorithms. Answer C. To promote responsible behavior in the security profession. Which domain of the SSCP CBK focuses on the implementation and management of network components? A. Access Controls B. Network and Communication Security C. Security Operations and Administration D. Systems and Application Security Answer B. Network and Communication Security What is the primary role of SSCP certified professionals in incident response and recovery? A. Developing Security Policies B. Identifying security vulnerabilities. C. Analyzing security incidents and mitigating their impact. D. Configuring firewall rules. Answer. C. Analyzing security incidents and mitigating their impact. Which of the following is not a recommended resource for preparing for the SSCP exam? A. Official ISC2 study materials. B. Practice exams from unauthorized third-party websites. C. Online courses from reputable providers. D. Study guides from experienced professionals. Answer. B. Practice exams from unauthorized third-party websites. Which domain of the SSCP CBK involves the design, implementation, and management of security controls to enforce confidentiality, integrity, and availability? A. Access controls. B. Cryptography C. Systems and application security D. Security Operations and Administration. Answer. A. Access Controls. In the context of the SSCP certification, what is the purpose of risk identification? A. To eliminate all risks associated with IT systems. B. To assess the probability and impact of potential security threats. C. To monitor network traffic for suspicious activities. D. To enforce access control policies. Answer. B to assess the probability and impact of potential security threats. Which domain of the SSCP CBK focuses on the principles, means, and methods of applying security controls to information systems? A. Access controls. B. Systems and application security C. Cryptography D. Risk identification, monitoring, and analysis. Answer. B. Systems and application security. What is the primary purpose of the SSCP certification? A to validate expertise in software development, B. To demonstrate proficiency in network administration, C. 
to verify skills and knowledge in IT Security D, to specialize in database management? Answer. C. To verify skills and knowledge in IT security. Which domain of the SSCPCBK focuses on the establishment, management, and enforcement of security policies and procedures? A. Cryptography B. Security Operations and Administration C. Network and Communication Security D. Risk Identification, Monitoring and Analysis. Answer B. Security Operations and Administration. Thank you for watching Cybertrainer. Like and subscribe.